the one thing I did to get abs. And this is just an honest video. I'm actually not scripting or outlining this video at all. I'm not using ChatGPT or nothing. This video is straight from the heart because this is something that I really know something about. Like this is like, I know this like the back of my hand. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I really know this really in and out, okay? So the one thing I did to get abs is straight up sit-ups. That's it. It's as simple as doing just sit-ups. Like people will tell you like, oh, buy my program, do this and that. Like, no, don't even do, don't listen to anybody. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying right now. Do sit-ups. That's it. That's all you have to do. You just have to work hard. Okay. You have to go through the pain of doing the sit-ups. That's the tar part. As in, there's no secret formula. There's literally no secret formula. People will tell you, oh, do some leg raises. Do, do this and that. Do some lunges, planks, this. Bro, nothing, none of those work. Trust me right now. Lay down, okay? Live on the floor. I don't recommend the floor because it kind of hurts your uh, tailbone. But lay down on a mat, on a bed. It could be literally your couch. It could be anything. It just cannot be too squishy. Right? If it's too squishy, it's too easy. A little bit flat and hard, okay? But a little bit of cushion. Okay, I was I would allow this much cushion, and if you can't find anything, just find a pillow and that you will be willing to sacrifice on the floor. Okay, or another option is roll up a towel on the floor. Another option, t-shirt. If you don't have a towel, put a t-shirt. Roll up a t-shirt on the floor. Okay, like stack it up, fold it up, not not stack it up, but like fold it up into like a little pad, and then you'll keep your tailbone safe because that's the only thing that's gonna hurt. Next thing you do, you do pin your toe, feet down. Okay, pin your feet down. So whatever you whatever you have to find, uh, whatever you have in your house, like be creative and find something that will hold your feet down. What I used to do is I had a chair, like uh, at my house. My dad used to have a like a wooden chair, like a really long wooden chair, and there was like little holes in the chair, like one right there, one right there, and I would put my foot in each of the holes. And the one thing that I will say, like right now, is those holes were not even. Like one hole was down here, one hole was up here, and I still made it work. Right? There's no excuse, okay? So just find anything that will hold your feet down. It could be like, a, I recommend like a dumbbell. If you have dumbbells, perfect. Literally just put dumbbells side by side, slip your feet underneath the dumbbells, boom, they'll pin your feet down. If you don't have anything, you do have a book bag, okay? Get a book bag, stuff it up with books or clothes, boom, put it on top of your foot. I would recommend like books and clothes and then just put it on top of your foot. Make sure your foot is pinned down, okay? The more weight, the more sturdy you can have your foot pin, pinned down, the more sit-ups you can do. Okay, that's the key. Because if you don't have your feet pinned down, you'll notice that at the end of your reps or uh, at the end of your set, sorry, at the end of your sets, you'll notice that you start cheating. Okay, and, and the worst thing you want to do is cheat on yourself. Okay, you never want to cheat on yourself because you're the only person you're hurting is yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you gain out of cheating yourself? You're trying to get the best results right now. And you're gonna you're gonna cheat at the most critical moment. That's the wildest thing I've ever heard. Like, do you do you realize how dumb that is? Like, don't cheat when it really matters. The ending is when it really matters. When you're really in pain. So really get your foot in there and isolate your ab muscles. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you right now, the results are gonna be significantly higher than if you do it like cheating, getting your getting your legs involved, getting your arms involved, right? Like. Yeah, okay, if you're a beginner and you have to cheat just to get that rep, then cheat. Okay, I get it. But once you get a little a little bit of strength, right, force yourself, literally will it, will yourself to do it. Create the urgency like, if I don't get up right now, I will become food for the sharks, right, or something. Like, <laughs> literally give yourself an ultimatum, okay, and get up, right, literally get up. So in terms of like repetitions, right? I'm gonna start you guys off nice and easy. And what I want you to do is realize that it's much easier said than done, okay? So let's break it down. Let's say you wanna do 100 sit-ups. This is a good starting goal, 100 sit-ups. If you can't do 100 sit-ups, I want you to work your way up to 100 sit-ups. But this is a good starting goal of 100 sit-ups one day because in solo leveling that's what he did okay and, and if he didn't do it he was gonna get eaten by by that giant worm <laughs> you know what i'm saying all right so like 100 sit-ups is the goal and let's break it down on how you can do 100 sit-ups if you can't even do a single sit-up just do one sit-up 100 times so lay down 
and then try to sit back up one time take a break catch your breath all right let's try it again lay down sit up that's two right there right boom you're, you're working your way through take a long rest do it again now if you get it done with that boom you're good you want to level up you can think you could do five in a row without stopping now we're going to do five in a row five sit-ups one two three four five and then take a break catch your breath you should be breathing while you're doing the sit-ups but i know it's kind of hard if you never did sit-ups like you you don't have the muscle for it so sometimes you hold your breath so i get it all right so catch your breath make sure you're breathing right while you're doing the sit-ups now you you want to push it up to the next level oh sorry i forgot to tell you the sets so you do five reps then you have to do 20 sets so you do five take a break five take a break five take a break 20 times then you're done right and the easiest way to do this is you have to keep track all right little notebook what i used to do is i use my fingers i would just be like all right if i do um one set of 50 i put one finger down or i put one finger up or uh when i finish like while i'm doing while i'm doing the 50 i put a finger up for every 10 so i just count 10 so one two three four five six seven, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. and then it's like once i get to five tens boom i just did 50. Like, that's kind of how, how i did it when i was counting um another thing is when you're what was i, what was I going with? Yeah. Okay. So moving on to um, your uh, what you do with your arms and your 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 head, right? Because because you're gonna notice that these things gonna get involved once in a while, right? One thing is you wanna realize that you have to use your neck muscles because your neck your neck will feel sore too. Okay. So try to not use your neck muscles by tucking your arms and your chest in nice and tight, right? and then like that. You only want to use your abs when you do your ab workout you know you don't want to be pulling like this with your arms like pulling up like that that that's cheating that's 100 percent cheating right don't use your arms when your head, hands are behind your head don't push your head like that right i what i had a trainer t- tell me to do is put your hands behind your ears and you just you're like holding on to your ears if you want you just pull your ears right if you're really pulling your ears it's gonna hurt so don't really pull you know it's just a very slight very slight like put your hands here I wouldn't even pull it. I just have my hands behind the ear. That's if you want to add some weight because your arms are a little heavier up here than over here. Right. But I recommend this. This is a good starting spot, right? As long as you don't go like this and pull up, keep it pinned to your chest. And as you're coming up, right, you only use your abs. Don't use your arms. Try not to use your arms. You you will try to at, at, at the end. Don't do it. Don't do it. Those are the moments when you don't want to do it at all. Unless you're about to die. Like you're, like you're up to 40 and you, you have 10 more left and you can't do this 10 unless you cheat. Okay, then, then cheat. Okay, I'll, I'll allow that. You know, that's okay. That's okay. And you're really trying to push that 50. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay. You see, I'm, I'm kind of nice. I'm nice like that. All right. But and for the most part, never cheat. I mean, try to get clean reps because you want, you want that burn. You want that squeeze. Right. When you're feeling that pain, go follow that pain. Chase the pain. And... You're going to hate me the next day, too. You're going to be like, oh, why did he make me do this? Like, I'm in so much pain. I can't even laugh. When I sneeze, I feel like I'm about to die. Just think about this, though. Every time you sneeze and you're in pain and you engage your abs and it hurts, that's it working even more. And then that's how your abs grow crazy, bro. That's how I have a six-pack my whole life, bro. The fact that I trained that hard before, like, my six-pack won't even go away anymore. That's just how my abs are. That's literally how I'm built. Like, my abs just stay flexing even when I'm not working out. Th- that's literally what happened. Like, it's crazy. It's always working out now. Like, even when I'm, like, talking. Like, I'm get- I'm so used to, like, being able to squeeze my abs. I'm able to talk here, talk in a longer breath. Like, I, I don't have to, like, breathe because my abs are so strong. Because I can just, like, keep talking, keep talking. To-, to the point where my abs are like, so engaged. Like, if you feel my abs right now as I'm talking, I'm, like, so out of breath. But my abs are, like, so hard right now because it's, like, trying to push out more air. <sighs> You see, I, I have to like, I, I can't, I don't, I usually don't even breathe when I'm talking, bro. I'm like talking so fast and t- talking so much too. Because I'm trying to make these videos as quickly as possible and trying to help you and deliver more information as quickly as possible. Because I know these videos, like, the I, I, last thing I want you guys to watch is a long, boring video that's not going to get you anything and no results. I want you to take action, watch this video and start doing setups. I want you to watch this video and be doing setups right now. Okay, just start doing it now. Start finding something to pin your legs under, right? Find something to put your uh, hip bone under, and then start doing it. Okay, because start now, bro. This is, I'm all about that action, man. Not about that waiting. You can wait when you're sore, 
You can learn more when you're sore. Get to work. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.